Travel about an hour north of Seattle and you'll find the quiet community of Lake Stevens, Washington. Beautiful community. We have great kids. Uh, our administrative, uh, whether it's our, our principals, uh, our assistant principals, our superintendent, uh, we've just got a great administrative staff. In his 11 years as head coach at Lake Stevens, Tom Try has seen a number of his players go on to play for small colleges and a few have gone Division I but he's never had a weapon like senior quarterback Jacob Eason. I'm more of the pro style quarterback, obviously, and I can uh, make the throws that are necessary to make the downfield throws and immediate throws. Um, I like, you know, standing in the pocket and just making them going through my reads and making that throw beside rather than running around and making a crazy play. I like to make the easy play. After getting a glimpse of Jacob's potential as a freshman, Coach Try knew he had to add more passing to his traditionally run-based offense. We went to a run pass option, so no longer are we a read zone team. And Jake's been doing that since his sophomore year. Uh, so he's been doing it for two years now, and, and we've had a lot of success. The new offense allowed Jacob to throw for about 2,900 yards in each of the past two seasons. His friends call him skinny, but it's not because of his body type. Jacob stands at six foot five and 210 pounds. The nickname actually came from a haircut he got as a kid. My mom left, I think, or something like that, went on a trip, and my dad got out the buzzer, and uh, he wanted to give me a flat top, so he kept going down. Couldn't get it quite right, so he just kind of went down and got to the skin on my head, so he started rubbing my head and called me skinny. Jacob depends on his dad for a lot more than haircuts, though. Tony Eason played wide receiver at Notre Dame and now coaches receivers at Lake Stevens. Once he saw how promising of an athlete Jacob was, Tony used his experience and resources to learn how to develop a young quarterback. I studied film. I dove into it as far as what's a good, perfect delivery. What, what about the hip rotation? Where's the arm come out? And from that, because I knew at an early age Jacob was talented. As a dad, I felt the responsibility that God bless this kid with talent. And it's my responsibility to figure out how I'm going to develop it. Really, honestly, I don't know where I'd be without my dad. I mean, he's he's been the guy to, you know, to get me to to to, to make me the person who I am today. I mean, starting out at a young age, throwing football behind the, before the bus, going to school, he he'd always critique my motion and you know get it right. So it's muscle memory. By the time, so by the time I got up to high school, I'd have that motion down. I mean, he's the one. He he, he helps me with my recruiting. He helps me, you know, become a better man off the field. The results of all that work they did together a detail-oriented quarterback who strives to eliminate as many flaws as he possibly can. Basically, the big knack on Jacob is he grew so fast, he has size 15 shoe, as his feet were bad. And that's what we focused on, because that was his weakness. We honed in on that to develop that weakness to make it a strength. And now when I talk to the top O coordinators across the country, bar none, everybody talks about how great his feet are. So that is a testament to what Lavelle has done with him as far as getting his feet going and Jacob putting in the hard work. He's a perfectionist and yet still spends time on Saturdays and Sundays doing footwork drills and working with receivers. And that has not come from me. That has not come from Coach Widman. That it may be a little bit from dad, but for the most part, that's an inner desire to, to want to go play Division I football. And, and, and that's what he chose to do. And, and to his credit, he's, he's worked his tail off to get ready to go be that guy. Jacob wants to play his college football in a place where he'll be challenged and can develop into an NFL quarterback. He found the right fit with the Georgia Bulldogs. I took my trips, you know, with my family and, you know, my dad, my mom, my sister. We went down, we, did, we, we hit a bunch of different schools and they, they, I mean, they're, they're all great schools, no doubt, but there's a, there's a feeling I got at Georgia and, you know, I mean, the, the coaching staff and the, the players there, the fan base, it's just a great community. Like, it's kind of like Lake Stevens, but on a much bigger scale. That's why that's one of the things that drew me to it. He loves the state. He loves the people down there. He loves the food. It's the, it's the darndest thing, but he's got a little bit of country in him. But I look at the school, and he just gets so excited about it. Being a five-star quarterback with a big arm, Eason is often compared to former Bulldog signal caller Matthew Stafford. While he's not saying he's on Stafford's level quite yet, Eason does appreciate the comparison. A lot of people did compare me to that, but uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I obviously like to be compared to that. I mean, he's a number one draft pick. He went to Georgia, had a great four years at Georgia, and you know, just to be able to, if I was able to fill into those shoes, I'd be, I mean, that'd be a dream come true. I mean, that's one of the things I strive to do, just to, to be to be where he is now. But uh, having that comparison just makes me want to work harder. Jacob is on track to graduate in December, and then it's off to Georgia, where he's ready to take everything he's learned from his dad to help him succeed. It teaches me how to become a man, how to treat women, you know, how to how to handle your academics and handle handle things like this, like interviews and stuff. I mean, he's he's been the guy that's that's taught me everything that he knows 
and it's been great for me to have him as a mentor and it's just it's been a great great thing and then once I go to college and you know, I'll have to take what I've learned from him. I've seen the transformation in him. It's hard to put your finger on that but I've watched it develop these last two and a half years to where he is now. The year-round grind that they do. I just think he's he's got that mindset that, and he's focused on what he wants. Watching him develop uh, his feet, his arm, his mind, his mental makeup, I see no reason why he won't be successful and, and, and work his way and have an opportunity to play on Sundays.